Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, welcome. It is, what day is it today? I'm losing track. It's Wednesday, October 20th already. My goodness, it's already into, well into the latter half of October. Today I'm going to be making um, a batch of chili in my crock pot. It's 2.10 in the afternoon right now. I just finished working. I got home from work at the school, working my shift at the school at one, by 1 o'clock, and I have to leave the house at 4 today to work 4.30 to 10 tonight at Sobeys. So I'm going to start a batch of chili in the crock pot. This may not be the most exciting recipe in the world because I know everybody makes chili and probably everybody knows how to make chili, but I'm just gonna share my version with you because everybody makes chili, or lots of people do, but lots of people have their own variation on it or their own recipe. So this is what I do. I've already prepped my ground beef. All I did was season it with some garlic powder. You can see the steam coming off, it's still pretty hot. I'm going to add some chili powder. I'm going to put the ground beef in the crock pot and then I'm going to add chili powder, two cans of chili style tomatoes, and I'm going to cut up and put in one jar of these sweet red peppers, and I'll add the juice as well, but I'm going to dice these up on a cutting board first. One can of tomato paste, one can of dark red kidney beans, and two cans of Heinz chili style beans. Excuse all the noise of my birds in the background. It is middle of the day, so it is their time to play and party and sing. So I'm going to close that door so that it calms the volume down a little bit. And I'll turn you around. Well, not turn you around. I'll keep it on this, but I'm going to get you on the tripod and show you, get get started putting the ingredients in the crock pot. So let me, get, uh, let me have two minutes to go quiet those birdies down just a smidge or muffle them a little bit and get you set up. And I'll be right back. Okay, so let's get these ingredients in my crock pot. Um, I'm going to get a wooden spoon out to stir them all in. I've got my ground beef already. I'm going to turn it on low. I'll be at work from 4.30 until 10 tonight, so I will not be here for quite some time. But um, my daughter's on her way to work right now. She starts at 2.30, and she'll be done at 8. So at least this way, supper will be ready when she gets home from work. Let me find my can opener. I believe it's in the same drawer. Yes, it is. Okay, so it has gone from being a very unseasonably warm late fall, like almost an extension of summer, to being quite cold. I want to say chilly, but I don't want to be making stupid puns and saying, you know, we're not making chilly because it's chilly. No, I'm not trying to make stupid puns. But it has gone from being fall, like being almost like extended summer, like so nice, to being cold. Um, I know most of you that are watching are in the U.S., a lot of you anyway, so I can't really, I can't really think off the top of my head what the temperature is in U.S. temperatures, but it's starting to get down below, uh, slightly below zero at night Celsius. Um, and only highs of about six or eight, like plus six or eight Celsius during the day, which just on Monday, we had a high of plus 21 Celsius. So, and we were warned that it was going to change abruptly, and it did. That's one thing about Manitoba or the Canadian prairies in general, is that quite often we don't ease into our seasons. Even in summer this year, we jumped right straight into a really, really hot June, which is unusual. Usually summer's the slow one to come, but this year it was hot right from the get-go. But generally speaking, when it comes to winter, we never ease into our seasons. It's always instant winter, or, you know, pretty darn close to it, it feels like. At least temperature-wise. Maybe not so much snow, because we haven't had that yet. But the big thing here, we never know if we'll have snow by Halloween or not. Quite often we do. Sometimes we do, but it doesn't stay. But sometimes we do, and we'll have a couple inches already, and it is staying. So it really depends. But the long-term forecast right now is showing plus 6 or 7 or 8 on Halloween, which isn't a heat wave, but it's not bad. It definitely will be tolerable for the kids to be out. So I've got a little bit of dust on the corner now. I'm going to wipe that off. Okay. So I've got my tomatoes, my chili style tomatoes in there. Just going to drain a little bit of the juice off the kidney beans. You can have some of it in there, but I don't really need all this juice in here. So it's a good size can. I'm just going to take a little bit of the juice off the kidney beans. I'll leave some in there, but... Should be lots. And I'll have to rinse all these cans out. We've got a, got a recycling bin over on the other side of my kitchen. I could put these in. 
but I do want to sit down. I want to get this going because I want to sit down and relax and have a bite to eat before I have to get ready for work. I mean, I just have to basically pack a little lunch. I'm on a five and a half hour shift, I only have a 15 minute break, just one. But I still like to take a lunch of some sort so I have something to get me through the rest of the evening. So I need a batch of popcorn chicken and I'm gonna have a few of those for lunch with some vegetables and I'll pack some as a snack to take to work as well along with some vegetables and maybe some cheese cubes or something. So I want to have a little bit of downtime after I get this started to sit down and eat and just relax before I have to make my lunch and put my uniform on and go. Now because this will be done, this is going to be basically cooking from about 2.30 on. It doesn't need to cook until like 10 o'clock night. It'll only need to go about, even on low, I'd say maybe four or five hours because the ground beef's already cooked. But I won't be home at that hour to turn it off and show you an after picture. So maybe around four o'clock, just before I head in, I'll try and show you a quick clip of how it's coming along at that point. And that's probably as much as I'll be able to show you because I won't be here when it's done. I'll have to rely on my family to turn it off when they get home from their, from her work and their outings and different things they're doing today. Okay, so these cans are all going to need a rinse after, but not right now. Obviously, because let me get this done. This one here, There's a little more in there too. The only time to see them really is the uh, peppers. I've got to cut those up a little bit. That's the only part. Otherwise, it's pretty much just straight can opening. That's not much to this job. Get my tomato paste in. Let's try and get this up off the lid. I like to use every as much of it as I can. I don't like to waste anything if I can help it. I'm rinsing the lids, but I'm not taking the time to rinse the cans out clearly though. That probably doesn't make sense to you, but I'm just trying to get this going relatively quickly so I can sit and enjoy a little bit of quiet and have my lunch before I have to leave again. Days like this where I'm working the two jobs back to back are challenging. Sometimes I do a shift like my daughter where I work 238 at the store and I find that working at the school first on those days is almost too much because I get in the door barely at one o'clock and we need to leave right around two. So to sit down and have a bite to eat and then turn around and change into a uniform and pack another lunch to take with me to work, all that in an hour, like I, it can be done. The time isn't so much the issue, but I just, I just feel like it's a short time I can get it done in that time, but I'm more frazzled. So, if this is going, it's 2.20 right now. If this is going by, say, 2.30, which it'll, it should be, because I'm just have to, all I have left is to put the chili seasoning in and cut these peppers up, then I have an hour and a half to sit down and eat something and uh, pack my lunch, get changed, and have maybe watch a bit of TV or something, or videos or whatever, and just relax. Okay, this is not opening. There we go. out. These don't have to be diced up completely fine. I just slice them a little bit just so they're, because they come out in pretty big pieces, so. And I do use the juice, as I said. I'm going to split these guys open. I don't know how much of this you can see on here, if I've got my cutting board on the screen or not. Kind of, you can see a little bit of it, I guess. I'm not going to try and fiddle with the tripod right now. But I think you can kind of see some of it. I'm going to slice them all this way first, lengthwise, and then I'll crisscross. Just trying to make them... I'm not a huge fan of peppers, so I don't want to find big chunks in my chili. But I do like the flavor that it adds. I don't like peppers on their own, but I, this particular recipe calls for them. And it does seem to give a certain flavor to it, so I do add them. But I just don't want to find... It's kind of like onions for me, right? I don't want to find great big chunks in there. So I'm just going to chop them up or dice them up pretty small relatively they don't have to be tiny but just it's more a preference for my liking that's all i'm the cook and i'm the one that kind of i'm the one that has probably the least tolerance for heat in this house too so i'm the kind of the one that gauges how spicy certain dishes will be i mean i do a good chunk of cooking too so it's also part of it but i know i was talking with a friend yesterday who makes a lasagna but she does what she calls a variation that she calls mexican lasagna where she adds salsa to it. And 
as far as like she doesn't put a large quantity of a salsa in it because she doesn't want it too overly spicy and she said she's the one that like spice the least in the house so she's the one that gauges the heat of the recipe so that's kind of like me whoops that fell right in there that's kind of like me so but she also had a recipe that she shared with me for spicy cranberry meatballs i might have to try now that has like frank's red hot sauce in it and i think she said again because she's not a huge spice fan she omits that it's only like a teaspoon i think it's like two tablespoons i may try it and maybe put some of it in but if I do, I'll probably maybe put a teaspoon instead of two tablespoons, or maybe one tablespoon instead of two. We'll see. Because it sounds like a good recipe. Whether or not my family will agree, I don't know. But we shall see. For today, it's just chili, though. I'm not going to try doing meatballs, homemade meatballs, on a day like today when I have my other job. If I was a complete day off from both jobs, I had all the time in the world, then yeah, then I probably would make homemade meatballs because I have time. But right now, I just don't. Even though technically with an hour and a half or so to go before work, I probably so technically do have time. I just don't want to be rushed. So today it is chilly. That is relatively quick and easy. So I'm just finishing cutting out my peppers. As best I can. Okay. Got four more here to do. I'm just going to split them open because they are in. They're kind of folded over. I'm going to put them on top of these other ones and cut them that way. That way the bottom ones are also getting chopped a little more finely too because I don't like the really big chunks of them. So I'm going to push those aside. I've got three left to go. And then I, as far as chili powder, I don't even measure it by teaspoon or tablespoon. Most things when I'm cooking or baking, I'm very precise in and I do measure it out. But for this, I just eyeball it. When it comes to the chili powder, I just eyeball it. Eyeball it, you know, kind of look and then after a bit, once it starts to cook and you smell it, you can kind of tell by the smell how spicy it is or how, it, how it's going in. And then I can always add some part way through if I feel like it needs more. Chili is one thing I don't mind if it has a bit of kick to it because to me, I feel like chili is supposed to have a bit of kick to it. I don't make it super hot and spicy because I'm not a fan of super hot and spicy. But it's nice once in a while to have... It's the kind of thing that on a cold day kind of makes your nose run sort of thing, right? Like it's a hot dish and if there's a bit of spice to it too, have a Kleenex or a napkin nearby because usually your nose runs if you're eating chili. So not that that's an appetizing thought, but it's more just the idea that it's such a cold day out there, which isn't that bad, but if it's a really, really cold day outside, it's nice to have something like a hot soup or a hot chili that's just like comfort food. You know, that's kind of where I'm going with this because it's a cool day. And I don't think we're going to get any more of those extended summer days now because it is October 20th. We were on borrowed time with those warm temperatures as it was. So we left out. We had a very, very, very nice fall. More so than unusually so. More than we usually do. Okay, so one more. I think those are actually all chopped. Okay, good. All my chattering. I think there's a little bit of juice on the board just from having cut the peppers. So there we go. Get those guys in there. Let's see if there's any... Juice left these guys have to go in the dishwasher. Ah. And we're a bit sticky from handling those peppers. Alright. See, is there any juice left in the bottle? A little bit. Don't want to waste any of it. It's all good. It all adds to the flavor. I think I got this particular recipe or version of chili from a lady I used to work with. I used to work at an optometrist's office years ago. Here in the city and one of the i think the office manager i think is what she was and she also worked on the optician side she had chili one day and i asked her for a recipe because it smelled so good so i call this teresa's chili because it was teresa was her name so okay so we're just gonna add some chili powder and then that is it yeah. shake some in there and i'm gonna give it a stir and then add a little bit more goodness come on it's coming out rather slowly here I mean, I could put it on the spoon side, but I don't want to have like a whole glut and have like five tablespoons or something fall out. Just kind of try to do it a bit gradually. Okay. It smells good. Unfortunately, I can't translate that to a video. Okay, I am going to do the spoon side a little bit. It's just not coming out very quick. Shake it out gently though. Well, that's a lot. That's more than I thought there, but that's okay. I'm going to distribute it through the whole thing. 
I, because that was a little bit more than I thought that came out there, I probably won't need to add more in a little bit, but I'm going to let it cook until about, I'll check it at about 345 just before I leave for work. And if it needs more, then I'll add a bit more then, but probably not because that's a decent amount that I just put in there. And that's where we'll leave it. But maybe I'll show you a quick clip before I head to work of how it's looking at that point. Because I probably won't be able to come back when it's done because I won't be here. So, put this on my spoon rest. Let me show you how it's looking. Because you probably can't see from there. Let's see if I can slide you off here. Hang on one minute. Okay, so that is where we are right now. I have it turned on high at the moment just to heat it up. And then probably by 2.45, 3 o'clock, I'll just turn it down to low. But that's how it looks right now. Look, everything looks good. It smells quite good already. I'm just going to grab my lid off to the side here and get that on there. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to turn it back down to low in a little while, and I will try and check in before I head to work and show you how it's looking at that point. Okay, I am back. It is just after 10 o'clock at night. Got off work a few minutes early actually tonight, but so here I am at home. Didn't get a chance to film anything before I left for work this afternoon like I intended to. Uh, family has been digging into the chili a little bit already, but that's good. That's why it was made. It's a cool day here, so it's a perfect day to have some chili. So this is how it turned out. It looks good. It smells good. I smelled it as soon as I opened the door to the house. Too bad I can't translate that into a video for you to get you guys to smell this. But I know everybody has a recipe for chili. Everybody makes it as kind of a common thing, but this is my version of it. So here we go. Now I'm going to have a bowl myself because it's cool outside. Time to warm up. Okay, and for all the other birds that have appeared in my videos, this, you probably haven't seen this guy before. This is Bo, our Senegal. So he'll help me wrap this video up, I imagine. Hopefully he won't bite me in the process. Don't eat my work shirt, please. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you are new, and let me know if there's any particular types of videos, whether it be cooking, cleaning, or otherwise that you would like to see. And we will see you next time. Have a great night, everybody.